time to ask Michael Lombardi. No way or no doubt. All right, let's see what topics Michael is on board with today. And we're going to start with one of my favorite players in the league, Brock Purdy, who has been healthy this offseason, participating fully in OTAs and mandatory minicamp exercises. He believes the increased workload will help him hit the ground running this season. He told reporters, last year I didn't have this, so now I'm able to attack everything. I feel like I've gotten better. Michael, I mean, last year he was pretty good. No way or no doubt. Brock Purdy will have his best year this season with the 49ers. No doubt. I mean, he, look, he's a young player. You have to go back to Russell Wilson for a player on a rookie contract not drafted in the first round to go to a Super Bowl. Brock Purdy did. Now, you have to go back to Patrick Mahomes in year three of his rookie deal to win a Super Bowl. So this is a rarity. I mean, what he's accomplished is rarefied air. He doesn't get held in that esteem for some reason I don't understand. Russell Wilson did. Kurt Warner did. But poor Brock Purdy can't. This guy's really good. He's going to keep getting good. His body's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. And they're going to keep allowing him to be great. Look, of course, when he throws an interception, somebody will make a stupid case about it. But... Yeah, he's going to get better. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Yeah, I don't know why people, when they talk about Brock Purdy, are always just sipping on haterades. Let the guy live. 49ers, by the way, favored in every single regular season game this season. They're the second shortest shot to win a Super Bowl after last year's ultimate defeat for the Lombardi Trophy. Now, last season, Tyreek Hill told everybody that would listen he was going for 2,000 yards. Unfortunately, an ankle injury the back half of the season derailed his plans. He was on pace to break the NFL record, ultimately came 165 yards short. But Calvin Johnson, who of course holds that record, is speaking to the Detroit Free Press about the record this week and said, I mean, it's bound to fall at some point the way it's going, so it is what it is. No way or no doubt, Michael. Calvin Johnson's regular season receiving yards record will fall in the near future. Well, we got 18 games, so there's certainly a a, a case to be made. But I don't think so. No way that it can. It's too hard to stay healthy, even though you don't get hit coming over the middle as much as you did. But, look, it's it's too damn hard to do it. I think it's a challenge. Uh, I think, you know, if Jefferson maybe would have had Kirk Cousins and played 18 games when we get there, that could happen. I just think it's really hard. So I'm going to say no way on that. If Hill would have been healthy... He would have gotten there, still ultimately did lead the league with 1,799 yards. He's so good, he's though. He's so good. He's yeah, so I mean, good. He's such, a, he's such an outlier that it takes a, somebody like him to get there. Yeah. Um, when win totals opened up at DraftKings this offseason, the Carolina Panthers and New England Patriots were both sitting at four and a half for the lowest win totals in the NFL this year. Since then, Carolina has been bet up to five and a half, leaving New England as the lone four and a half win total. No way or no doubt, Michael. The Patriots deserve to have the lowest win total this NFL season. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be proven. I mean, I think last night is so interesting. There's no doubt they should be the lowest team here because they're coming off of a team that didn't have a very good kicker. They didn't address that, right? Their quarterbacking situation, they're going to go with Brissett. Their offensive line is up in the air. And, you know, if you think you can just let Belichick walk out of the building and the defense is going to improve or stay the same, you got nothing coming. The strength of their team was their defense last year. It's not going to be this year. It's probably not going to be as good. So I think there's going to be a lot of people that use New England and Survivor. <laughs> and yeah. every week they're going to be the team that looks to because I think they'll have the first pick in the draft next year. The more you study their roster, study their team, their influx of quarterback, and they have a head coach who's only been coaching for, what, three, five years? And he's taken over for the greatest. Like, we used to say when we were around there, man, I hate to be the guy that takes over for Bill. We Literally, we would have this conversation. Josh McDaniels, Matty Patricia, all of us would sit there and say, whoever gets this job next, he's in for a world of hurt. The- we don't say that anymore because we think that the guy that, that left is really great. Like, no, it's going to be hard to replace him. He's great. It's like trying to replace a great player. You don't realize he's great until they're gone. Last night, the fans in New England knew it. Yeah. 
That's why they say don't know what you got till it's gone. And good luck, Patriots, with that schedule, by the way. Toughest strength of schedule in the entire NFL. They're also the plus 350 favorite to have the fewest wins. The Panthers at plus 550. Now, last season, Travis Kelsey, we know, saw a slight decline in his regular season numbers, but he did rise to the occasion in the playoffs, was a critical piece of why they were able to win back-to-back Super Bowls. At 34 years old, naturally, he's fielding questions about how long he has left in the game. Here's Kelsey. You know, I'm still a little kid when I come into this building, man. I know I'm 34 years old, about to be 35, but um, I have a love to do this right here um, in the middle of the heat in in June. You know, I love coming to work every single day and doing this. So uh, I'm going to do it till the wheels fall off, and hopefully uh, that doesn't happen anytime soon. Wear and tear me, baby. I'm ready for it, man. Put the load on me. I'm, I'm, I love, I love being accountable for these, the, the, the men and the women in this building and Chiefs Kingdom. I, I love the aspect of you know everybody counting on me to to try and make that play for the team. I love the mentality, but will the wheels fall off, Michael? No way or no doubt. Travis Kelsey is still Mahomes' most important weapon heading into his 12th season. No doubt he still is. And I think to me, what I loved about what he was saying was it's a little bit reminiscent of what Toby Keith singed about in the song, Don't Let the Old Man In. You know, he doesn't want to let the old man in. You know, Clint Eastwood told him that when they were playing golf one day. He and Toby Keith, they were playing golf. And and Toby Keith was marveling at how Clint Eastwood was getting ready to go do the mule, the movie in Savannah, Georgia. And he was playing golf in the heat in the Carmel Valley. And He's had all this energy, and he's like, how the hell can he do that? Like, what are you doing? And and he gave him a great line. He said, I'm never going to let the old man in. And then Toby Keith put another line in it. How old would you be if you didn't know the day you were born? That's what Kelsey's saying right there. I know the day I'm born, but I don't really know how old I am. That's powerful. And that's what we need to do. And so I think to me, you know, Father Time's going to win. There's no question, but maybe not as soon. But he's still the best player on their team. And that team works hard.